Bonjourno YouTube, it's Trev here, something or nothing. Um, today, quite excited, I'm about to do my very first uh, stint of hammock camping. So really excited about that. Going out of a chap called Andy, who has the Hammock Campers Facebook page, I'll put a link below. I met him on one of my uh, charity walks that I'd done, and I said oh, he could show me the ropes, excuse the pun. And it just seemed like a great thing to kick start the year off. So my very first Summit or Nothing outing of 2020 is a hammock camp. Well, I've done the coast walk, but that's coast walks are always separate. So I've just sort of been sorting out all my gear that I'm going to take with me. It seems a lot. So I'm going to run through what I'm taking. I mean, this is my first run, as I said. So as it goes on, you know, I might whittle my gear down for the next times but I thought I'd do a little bit of a loadout video of what I am taking with me today. I've not really gone ultra light because we're parking quite close to where we're camping we're not really hiking or anything so I just thought let's just take everything that I think I need and hopefully you know I've got enough. So let's have a look through my gear. So here we go that's this is everything that I plan to take. You might think it's an overkill Maybe it is, but let's have a look and see. We start over here. The sort of this is this is the hammock gear. So this is the hammock I've got. It's a free soldier hammock tent. I've never put it up before. I did try the tent to put up some brackets in the garden to put it up, but they pulled off the walls. Um, I couldn't really get a decent fixing in the wall and the garden was a mud bath, so that didn't happen. But that's why I want to go out with someone who knows what they're doing. So, if there is any issues, you know, maybe you can sort something else out. Then, I've also got here, this is my tarp, my DD hammock tarp, which will be protection over the top. And then I haven't got a tarp to go underneath for all my gear, but what I have got is not a cloud up mat, it's just in the bag for the cloud up mat. It's an old bivy bag that I had, which was not very breathable, but I thought that would be ideal to sort of use as a dry bag to wrap all my gear in, perhaps. So I'm taking that. Then I've got over here is a brand new under quilt which is a Luxada under quilt which um, yeah hopefully it will attach to this okay if not I might just have to lay it in the hammock we'll see once we get there it's all sort of uh, I'm going blind at it which I know I shouldn't but that's how it is but then I've also got as Look down here, I've got my, this is my booty bag, down sleeping bag, and another liner, which I've got in there, that's what I'm going to be mainly sleeping in. What I usually do is have the liner inside the sleeping bag, but this time I'm having the sleep, I'm going to sleep in the sleeping bag, with the liner around the outside, and then the booty bag around the outside of that. Someone said try it that way, so that's what I'm doing. Then I've got additional pegs, uh, additional uh, takes of pegs, in case I need them, I don't know. And I've got two bundles of power cord as well. So all of this is like new to me, I've never used any of it, so it'd be quite interesting to see. And then over here, I've got an old nature hike down sleeping bag, which the zip is broken there. So I, it's like the spare one, we always take two users, like a quilt or something, when I went out with Cohen. We used it as a, an extra quilt, so I'm just going to take that as well as an extra layer I can put over the top of me. Because you, I know you have an under quilt, maybe you need an over quilt as well. I didn't know, so thought, it kind of hurts to take that. So that's mainly the hammocky sleeping bed side of it. Then we'll have a look at what I've got food wise over here. I've got my jet boil, extra gas, and coffees and hot chocolates there. So that's mainly going to be for uh, water, cook, boiling, cooking me water, uh, cooking coffees and things. Now I'm taking a stainless steel pot that my mum got me for Christmas. 
part of a six piece set. I'm just going to take the one. And then in there I've got a beef stew that I cooked and froze. So that is going to be my two for tonight. Looks tasty. And then I've also got some of my flapjacks there. Then of course I've got my cock co and my spork. So that's me cooking stuff, plus I'm taking water and my soya mini water filter. Then it's clothing. So I've got an extra thick pair of socks. I'm going to be wearing a thick pair of socks anyway. I've got some caramel, these are really good, little lightweight gloves, but they're sort of thermal, so they really keep your hands warm. They make a difference. And I think they're only like 5 99 or something. And down here, I've got a nice woolly hat. Keep my head warm. Then I've got thermal layers. That's the leggings. And that is, oh, it's not the one I thought it was. I've got a different one. I've got change that out. I've got like a breathable wicking thermal top, so I'll put that in there. So thermal layers as well, just for extra heat. Then I've got my down sleeping bag, but no I haven't, I've got my down jacket and a dry bag for that. Now it's a lot of gear as I say, so I'm bringing my Van Gogh bag today, uh, which is a bigger bag. A Van Gogh Sherpa 60 plus 10. So hopefully I'll fit everything into that. And over here I've got my water. Then we get to my towel, uh, towel and toilet roll, toilet papers and hand wash in case. Well, you know, in case what? In case I get caught short. And then over here, this is where it gets exciting. I've got my headlamps, that one's good for filming, and that one's just good as a backup. I take my USB charger to charge this one anyway, but then I've got this. I got this for Christmas from my brother-in-law. LED Lenser T7M. Now this is a tidy LED torch. I'll read some of the spec off the computer for a minute. There it is. Now it's quite a present, I was chuffed to bits with it, it says it's 400 lumens with a 280 meter beam range, advanced focus system optics patented reflector and lens combination for intense spot. Now I have tried it and the spotlight is a perfect circle, it's amazing when you shine it and then it's also got the sort of flickery one so it doesn't glare your eyes or whatever you adjust to your eyes will adjust better or something I don't know the ins and outs of it but it's a decent bit of kit so yeah I'm really looking forward to using that and then over here I've got my Wolfer knife which I've never took out yet which I got as part of the Great Outdoors TV gift set now this has got not just a knife but it's got all like different different bits in there you can use um, screwdriver sets pliers and all stuff like that so I'll be taking that and that will keep and that will come in really handy I should think and then over here I've got a roll of um, gaffer tape or duct tape which I'll keep wrapped around an old National Trust card to keep it really compact but should I get into any predicaments and need that there we are now, with the sleeping bag, the, with the the hammock, it needs it. What it does, it's like a tent with a fly sheet over the top. Ham, a hammock with a fly sheet over the top. So it's got two bits that go across. One I'm gonna have to put sticks in and tie them up to keep it up, like a sort of tent, like a cocoon. So hopefully, there's sticks around that I can use for that otherwise it's taking my hiking poles apart I suppose I could do that take them and see if I can use them so yeah I might pack my hiking poles as well just to be on the safe side but there you go that's my loadout for today's adventure 
So, uh, as I say, really excited about this. It's, you know, I've been waiting for a long time to do this. It is January, it could be cold, but I think I've covered all bases <laughs> with all these different layers and things I've got there. So, yeah, now all I've got to do is fit it into this bag and uh, get down there and meet Andy. So really looking forward to that. Stay tuned for the video of that. Hopefully next week I'll have that all up and running. And, uh, yeah, you can see how that goes. So thank you very much. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.